we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars. Scientists may have discovered tantalizing clues of ancient life on Mars. NASA on Wednesday, September 10th, announced that intriguing leopard spots found on a rock sampled by the Perseverance rover could potentially be signs of microscopic life. The sample, named Sapphire Canyon, was drilled from a rocky outcrop called Chayava Falls in July 2024. It comes from the Naretva Vallis River Valley, a site sculpted by flowing water more than 3 billion years ago. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy called the findings incredibly exciting, noting that scientists couldn't find another explanation for the rock's distinctive markings. The black poppy seeds and larger leopard spots may represent potential biosignature features consistent with ancient biological activity. Researchers also identified possible traces of hematite within white calcium sulfate bands, another clue pointing to Mars' watery past. NASA has been exploring Mars. And in that exploration, we're looking for um, signs of life, we're looking for water, but 30 years of exploration. And in the past, we thought we found signs of life. And when we did that, we put it out to the scientific community. And the scientific community would come back and say, well, well listen, uh, there's, an, uh, there's different explanations for what you think was life. It actually was created by something else. And that's been the history, the partnership that, that NASA has with its discoveries and uh, the scientific community that will, uh, in essence, pressure test what we think we've found. So we're talking about perseverance. Uh, this was uh, a mission sent to Mars under uh, President Trump's first presidency. And a year ago, uh, we found a sample, uh, and it was, uh, again, we're exploring in places where there were rivers and, and where there were lakes. And uh, much as on Earth, uh, we think that that's where we'd see signs of ancient life um, uh, on Mars. And so a year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars, uh, which is incredibly exciting. Um, and um, again, we're gonna, we're gonna break that down uh, for all of you with our lead scientists here at NASA, those who have been involved. Uh, uh, Dr. Hurwitz, uh, Professor Hurwitz wrote the paper that was released today, so uh, we wanna hear from him, him as well. But I, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about what we're actually doing here at NASA, uh, which is uh, human flight exploration. Uh, many of you have heard about our Artemis program. Uh, at the first part of next year, we're going to send four astronauts back to the moon, but we're going to just go around the moon. We're not going to land in Artemis II, which is coming uh, early next year. But about a year and a half after that, we're going to do Artemis III. We're going back to the moon. Uh, and this time, we are going to stay for a longer period of time at the start, but we want a long-term presence of, uh, of life on the moon led by America. And what's important with uh, this mission is what we learn on this mission to the moon is going to help us to actually put American boots on Mars. And uh, it's, and it's, it's, it's an exciting time. And again, we have great science around it. We're, we're pushing our partners. We're pushing NASA. Um, we're in a second space race right now. And that means there is a possibility, some would even say a probability, of life beyond Earth, including maybe even complex intelligent life. And today, we are really showing you how we are kind of one step closer to answering humanity's one of their most profound questions, and that is, are we truly alone in the universe? So if I could have the first image, please, that would be great. So last July, as Secretary Duffy uh, eloquently described, NASA's Perseverance rover found a leopard-spotted rock 
at Mars. And scientists immediately knew it was interesting. We hadn't seen anything like that before on Mars. And we talked about it last summer. The moment we found it, we put out the images for everybody to see and everybody to share, share in the joy of NASA science. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, today we're really here celebrating that incredible hard work of the science team as they literally tried to prove it wasn't interesting. Maybe it's just something <laughs> else. Maybe it's not, you know, the key uh, result that we've been waiting for. Um, and so they've they've done the analysis on these leopard spots, um, and we you know we think they are potentially made by some sort of ancient life. Um, this per this finding by our incredible Perseverance rover is the closest we've actually come to discovering uh, ancient life on Mars. And if you can't tell, we're really excited about that. <laughs> um, and but you know I also again I want to put it into context. It's a signature. It's a sort of leftover sign. It's not life itself. Um, and it certainly could have been from uh, ancient life, and that would have been something that was there billions of years ago, nothing that's current there. Um, and, you know, we, it could certainly, as we say, be made by ancient life. And what that means is we look at everything we know about life on Earth. And this is the kind of signature that we would see um, that was made by something biological. In this case, it's kind of the equivalent of seeing like leftover fossils, you know, leftovers from a meal. And um, maybe that meal's been excreted by a microbe. And that's what we're seeing in this sample. Um, and, you know, again, as Secretary Duffy said, we don't know for sure that's what it is, but, and we won't stop after this first analysis. This certainly is not the final answer. Um, but we have this first result and we're sharing it with you, the world, and we are asking you to look and give you our analyses also. The discovery of a potential biosignature or a feature or signature that could be consistent with biological processes, but that requires further work and study to confirm a biological origin is, is something that we're sharing with you all today um, that, that grows from years of hard work, dedication, and collaboration uh, between over a thousand scientists and engineers here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and our partner institutions around the country and internationally. A uh, discovery like this comes from years of strategic planning and science analysis uh, from both the rover team as well as the Mars community as we went from the development of the Mars 2020 mission as a concept uh, in response to the priorities of the dec Planetary Decadal Survey, to the landing site selection, uh, and now to the daily operations of the rover that provide us such a fantastic data set that we're going to share with you today. Um, if we could bring up the first uh, image here, I'll be providing some overall geologic context for the discovery of, of these leopard spot features. Um, the Perseverance rover landed in Jezero Crater in 2021. And this site was selected as the result of a multi-year community effort um, because we decided that this site was, was truly the best place to accomplish the Mars 2020 mission goals of seeking signs of ancient life on Mars um, and putting together a collection of rocks for possible return to Earth in the future. Uh, Jezero was selected because uh, it's in a location amongst the most ancient terrains on Mars, exposing some of the oldest rocks anywhere in the solar system. And these really ancient rocks provide us a window into a period of time that's not particularly well represented on our own planet Earth, but it's a time when life was emergent on Earth and could have been on Mars as well. Uh, Jezero is also indisputably the site of an, of an ancient lake, uh, which we know because we have uh, two river valleys entering into the crater uh, and, an, and a river valley uh, exiting the crater uh, through which water flew uh, through flowed out of the crater. Uh, during the first four years of the mission, uh, Perseverance uh, explored three main geological terrains within the crater. Um, the rover landed on the crater floor, which was a sequence of igneous rocks, including lava flows and igneous cumulates, that had a number of interactions with water and, and preserved uh, probably micro environments that were likely habitable. Um, the rover then transitioned to the western fan. Uh, it's a sequence of sedimentary rocks uh, whose sediments were transported from ancient terrains out of the crater uh, into the crater uh, in a relatively long-lived and stable lake, delta, and river setting. 
Um, the rover then transitioned to what we call the margin unit. Uh, this was a thick sequence of igneous rocks that really are, uh, distinguished themselves um, by strong orbiter spectroscopic signals of the minerals olivine and carbonate. Um, after the margin unit exploration, the rover had a chance to traverse into the Retva Vallis, which is the main feeder river valley uh, that once fed the, the ancient lake that was present in Jezero. Um, and this, uh, this river valley, more than 3.5 billion years ago, this valley would have been filled with rushing rivers carrying uh, mud, sand, and gravel from outside the crater into the lake inside the crater. Um, this kind of energetic setting was probably punctuated by periods of calm when water would have backed up, uh, creating a relatively low energy lake environment where deposition by settling from suspension uh, could have occurred. Um, eventually, though, this, this water dried up, the, the lakes and rivers dried up, um, and the bright angel outcrop uh, was revealed. And uh, this, this outcrop records for us a potential habitable environment uh, that we can study and the rover can explore uh, on the surface of Mars today.